reading from Psalm 55. I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and He hears my voice. This is the word of the Lord. Last Sunday here at Trinity, we sang a hymn called, Lord of all hopefulness. And in the hymn, we're asking God to be with us and to bless us through each part of the day. And it's based on those words from Psalm 55, where David says, I call to God and he saves me evening, morning, and noon. I cry out in distress and he hears my voice. David wrote the Psalm uh, during a time in his life when he was in great danger because someone close to him had betrayed him. And how is, he to, how is he to respond to that betrayal? By trusting in God, who does not betray, and trusting in God at all hours of the day. David could pour out his heart to God in prayer, if need be, morning, noon, and night, sure that God was going to hear him. David responded to heartache with godly hopes and expectations. Whatever time of the day, God will hear and know what to do. Jesus had a similar attitude as he made his way to Jerusalem and the cross. He had godly hopes and expectations, sure that he could trust his heavenly Father. And even though night had fallen, when Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, he knew that his Heavenly Father would hear and that his Heavenly Father would know what to do. Jesus would soon suffer much, including betrayal and heartache and the wrath of God for the sins of the world. But by that suffering, he would redeem his people. And on the third day, he would rise to new and eternal life. His Heavenly Father would know what to do. So, even when times are tough, no matter the hour of the day, morning, noon, or night, it's okay for you to pour out your heart to God and to put your trust in Him, sure that He will hear and He'll know what to do. Let us pray. O Lord, give us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to believe your promises, that we with you as our defender and guide, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.